Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2. We are staring at a, a quite a busy Albany, aren't we? That is the focus of our task currently. We have an issue to the side of the screen. We can address that once we get going. We have to reach 60,000 population in Albany. Once they reach 50,000, we can build us a library as the hint there informs us which will uh, reduce the amount you need for them to start growing. All we need to know is the library is going to make our lives a little bit easier, and that means we need to supply less overall. That isn't as bad as it sounds, as uh, we, can, we can maintain our same level of trains and not make the city's station overly busy. Eventually, we need to ex either expand the station or add another one, but... Uh, Adding a library certainly reduces that. What is up with you? Of course, we don't have any maintenance in Syracuse, nor do we have one in the grain station. And we're at the point now where we can spend a bit of extra money. So we'll get one in Syracuse's main station. Now, when we left off, we were looking at expanding this station over near Buffalo. Buffalo has just grown. That's good to see. Uh, but corn, corn is maxed out. Whether we can buy this, not really. Well, we do get quite the uh, refund, don't we? Being able to push this ourselves might be a good thing going forward. And since we're delivering a lot from here, yeah, I feel like we're going to be continually taking this as well. Let's just pause it there. Do we have any corn? We do not. This entire area doesn't have access to corn. So we'll be supplying London, Toronto and Ottawa once we head up that way. Uh, we've still got to buy Southern Ontario there, this area. Uh, so yeah, going forward, while I don't recommend buying businesses at 100%, I'm going to do it because of our refund. There we go. We're bidding 746000 and we only pay 485000 And we could push this if we like early on we can uh, yeah we've got trains waiting to load with corn already what is it to upgrade let's take a look resize the industry level two three hundred and sixty thousand let's do that let's get corn moving it's a bold move but we started bold might as well continue that what are we going to do you'll get fixed eventually i wouldn't mind place it oh yeah let's hit play I wouldn't mind placing a maintenance station here, but I just blew all of our cash on uh, buying a business. However, should we need to respond to buying, say, city businesses up in, on the east coast here, uh, Portland and Bangor, then uh, we still have, I believe, a bond available. Yeah, over a million now. So that is still in our back pocket. We have research to spend, do we? Yes, we do. We'll go along this top row. And that will get us to the Dunham cheaper. It'll only cost us, what's that, 400 innovation points to unlock the Dunham that way, rather than 600 down here. While these are nice, this will allow us to achieve uh, the same thing a lot sooner. The Dunham is going to be a mixed loco, but we'll look at him more once we can unlock him. Oh yeah, what did we actually get? I just grabbed it and didn't read it. Uh, we got the detonator. So now the reliability of our locomotives is just that little bit better, uh, which is less breakdowns. You're not going to avoid breakdowns. They're still going to happen, the random ones. And uh, obviously anywhere we don't have a maintenance yard. So Albany, the focus of today, uh, we're creeping up to that to 50,000 mark where we can build us. Our first building, the library, it's going to cost us 100000 but we do have a lot of cities that are generating money for us and a lot of uh, industries as well and lines. What does Albany need to grow faster? Well, we're already at 86.6%. We can grab vegetables and we can grab fruit and add to their fulfillment of demand by quite a bit. Now, we do have vegetables right there. Uh, let's take a look at the flow of goods. Where is our closest fruit? 
we have a green arrow just at the top of the screen there, middle top. Now that's miles away and in an area that we uh, need to unlock for a lot of coins. Uh, we have one down on here, which, uh, yeah, down on the, well, to the east coast. Uh, yeah, it's on the east coast, isn't it? And uh, that will be the one that we supply early on across to Albany and Syracuse, as well as up north along the east coast. That's the future plan. I believe this one might be the best way to go. It's a lot easier than setting this up. It would be nice to get a, uh, a connection bonus as well, but we don't want to leave it too long. How is Bangor doing? You are you're doing okay, aren't you? Yeah, you're, you're going up pretty rapidly. 40,000, we should be able to get our second industry sorted. Oh, these are going to grow soon. We might need to use that bond. Okay, given all that, let's have a look at the lay of the land. We've got a little bit of a hill here. And we're sat between, well, kind of down in the middle of two hills, aren't we? We've got a river to traverse. We can do this two ways. We can head in and link in before the bridge at Syracuse. We'll still need to navigate this hill somehow. We don't really want to build on the hill as we'd uh, introduce grades unnecessarily. The other option is to head up and reuse our milk line here and double track it all the way and head into Albany from the north. This one looks like the cheaper option and once Syracuse grows we can then start popping the vegetables into that city as well as Buffalo. Let's try and sit on the lowest elevation possible because that will align better with all of our current network. So that would be the, the darker green. I like it down here because it's a um, it's a lower elevation. We can move it out the top, can't we? We can sort of go around up here. It will be a bit slower, but if we drop that down, we can get zero percent, and then maybe hug. You can just see there's a there's a contour along the uh, side here that we can possibly hug. If we can get the speed up to max as well, we can always have a cutting. How's that going to sit? I really don't want the tunnel, but we can start heading up a little bit there. And there we go, 0%. We can also head up a little bit there. And if we can get rid of that tunnel, there we go. And keep our climb down to a minimum. We can connect to our rails rather than a station in city boundaries. So as long as you've got rails in the city boundary, you can connect in at uh, different points. And that's only going to cost us 79,000 as cheap as chips, isn't it, really? I don't think we're going to be running many trains with this. We can just double track on this bend and keep that maximum. Why not? And that allows us to uh, drift in and out of the main line without having to wait to cross. So we have the initial setup. What do we have? for transferring in Albany. Let's take a look at our warehouse. Get rid of the contours now, we're finished building. Warehouse, we still have two spaces and Boston is probably gonna require those same vegetables. So it would be nice to ship those along to the East Coast, wouldn't it? Because there, we have no vegetables over at the East Coast. So we're going to add vegetables, which is going to push demand. How much are our vegetables to buy? Can we... Oh, there are only 90,000. The reason you'd want to do this, as opposed to leaving it to the AI, is we can be proactive with our upgrades. The uh, AI, 58,000. The AI will react, and you have to push demand to 100% for X amount of time, possibly a few weeks before the AI decides to upgrade it. Okay, we're not done though. We need to now get us some, not gridiron because we only have one track at the station, but we still need a little bit of signaling, entering and leaving the main line. New line, let's head from a Pastor's Station. <laughs> I love the name. Not into there though, Grant. 
and then we'll add you to the Albany, already busy Albany station. We're definitely going to need to expand on this station, but it's going to be pricey. Do we want to wait until full? I think we do. That'll be a good idea. We can gauge the, uh, the demand we've got then and whether we uh, need to upgrade or not. And we want just the one train. Yes, we have uh, long, long sections of track that are uh, bi-directional, but we don't care about that. As we only have one train running that bi-directional line. Okay, fruit's going to be the other one, isn't it? How much is fruit going to cost us? It's currently dropped. It was at 100% for a while, probably as Boston grew. And now it's dropped to close to zero. It's pricey. However... Again, our eloquence is going to help us there, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. We only pay 158,000. And it does mean we can now level this up when we uh, feel it's necessary rather than waiting on the AI. Boston. We're going to work on Boston indirectly, even though it's not part of the uh, current task because a bigger city is going to help Albany regardless. Uh, we've got milk we need to deliver and the vegetables should start happening. Currently they're taking their fruits down on bar on the east coast there. They're taking those via the road that it's drawn. This road here is going to be taking fruits into Boston. Right, we've got a bit of a setup going, haven't we? Let's hit play. And we should start supplying some of our vegetables into Albany there. We're already taking milk. We may need to upgrade... Yeah, we may need to upgrade our uh, cattle farm. Our dairy farm, I guess it would be, wouldn't it? But with milk. And uh, no doubt we should start thinking about adding a maintenance building on there. I guess we don't need to react just yet. Because we've only just took uh, a full eight wagons into, into Albany. It's going to take a little while for that train to get into... Albany and then do the return journey and by that time we may have a close to eight waiting for us how is our oh, look at that our, our corn is looking good it cost us a small fortune but at least we are uh, recouping some of that outlay the closer this number gets to that the better especially since it gives us control over upgrades once you initially hook up something such as corn that is uh, scarce along our network, the demand's going to be much higher. We really want to wait until it, that's all settled down and we've supplied our first bit of demand. We've got to supply this entire East Coast run. Right, and Portland has grown. So we need to decide what we're going to put in Portland. Well, how long is it going to take for you? You are quite a way off before you get your second industry. So what I'd like to put in here is clothing. It's probably a good idea to have the, uh, the clothing with wherever cloth is. I believe the AI has done that. Yes, yeah, so they've got cloth and clothing there. But giving Portland clothing in the early game allows us to take our cloth along this route we've already got to Portland for them to start making some clothes. So yes, we'll try and build us a, what are they, tailors? Fashion industry. <laughs> we'll try and build one of these in Portland as soon as possible. We're gonna need 480,000, but our money's going up pretty rapidly, isn't it? We may take that bond out and that will speed things up. It depends how quickly Bangor grows. Uh, well, they're doing all right, aren't they? They're at 66.7%. Here's the plan. Clothing, the fashion industry in Portland. Bangor can then make planks along with Boston. Uh, we'll avoid planks at Albany, even though they're the ones next to the wood. Or oh, maybe... We could go cheese in Albany, couldn't we? And make use of the uh, milk. Yeah, we could always take this wood down to Syracuse. I think that might not be a bad idea. Uh, we, we've got a bit of an issue getting down here. We may add a warehouse in Syracuse to get that, uh, get that wood down. 
How are we doing? There we go. We can afford our fashion industry. It's a new product to our network. We don't currently have access to clothing, which sounds a little bizarre. <laughs> we do have clothes, no doubt. Perhaps not fashion. Yes, not everybody is walking around naked. Let's pop you down there on the uh, on the coast or closer to the coast. You're going to start creating some clothing for all of our cities, which um, if we go to Boston here, clothing, you'll see we're getting, is that how many we've got? Stock in the city, one. We're probably getting it from New York City. Let's take a look. Where are you currently getting your clothing from? Yes, I just, just saw it there. We're helping them grow over in New York, which is a little awkward, but given that we've put it in Portland and we have a freight run between the three, they should start to get uh, clothing from Portland pretty quickly and that should switch to Portland. We've got to get our initial cloth over there. Do we have any space in our warehouse here? We do. Do we care about sending clothing down to Albany? Not with Syracuse growing. Syracuse will, yes, will no doubt be the one that's making our uh, clothing. But these three, what we've got here, we've got these three cities working together. And these three cities on the East Coast working together. And then what we'll do via the, via the warehouse is supply those three with anything they're missing from these three down here a farm near ottawa it's going to cost us to run it I, I don't like that no i don't like that that's kind of out the way isn't it it's right up there we've got grain down closer to montreal and ottawa here we've got these two grain farms for toronto london and also ottawa again and uh, we've got this grain farm down here. So grabbing this is just going to sit there eating our money, isn't it? Ignore that. How's Albany doing now? Have we started to get any of that vegetable supply? We have. It's going to take a while. We're going to need to initially see to Albany's demand. And uh, once that's done, we should start shipping it by the warehouse. Where's the warehouse? You haven't clicked on the station, Grand warehouse we have some earmarked for boston look at that beautiful we hit fifty thousand guys what does that mean we now get to uh, reduce the requirements and uh, we've got the money as well isn't that beautiful so now if we look at albany they're at 88.8 percent .8 and that will keep going up they've got double arrows so they're growing very very quickly boston likewise is also growing and they've reached fifty thousand. so what we'll do is we'll get us a library over in boston they look lovely these buildings don't they there's our uh, meat industry the one that starts there we don't own that one but we did buy the sawmills which you can see they're working away in town very busy with the cobblestones let's close that and there's our ginormous library that's lovely, isn't it? Look at all the detail down here. If you go down, it's rather nice. People just milling around, chatting. Uh, lots of people heading to and from work in our station, no doubt. Right. Who's next to grow? Bangor? Probably. They're at 71.6%. They're kind of out of the way, aren't they, on their own up there? Do we need to bring down vegetables here? We probably do, don't we? Yeah, because there's no way to get them down. So vegetables is going to be one. Fruit will possibly be the other one. I like the idea of fruit. It's an easy way to get the, the fruit up to Albany and Syracuse there. Uh, it shouldn't need to go much further than Syracuse because we can start bringing that fruit in eventually for perhaps Buffalo, Toronto, London and maybe Ottawa as well. Oh, we've got some more fruits there lovely right plans are afoot it's, it's looking good look at portland growing never thought it would be portland okay we have some research what do we got here locomotive maintenance time is reduced by five percent they're going to be a little bit faster now at doing that 
So, are we going to finish our task today? I think we are, aren't we? We're at 56,000. There we go. There's our fulfillment at demand has shot up to 93% as it changes. While I'm talking about it, that's wonderful. Right, how are we doing? I think we'll be okay here, unless the train's already there. It isn't. Did you leave? Oh, I can see your smoke down there. Your steam. You're off down onto the main line. You have full load, but uh, as you saw, we are indeed filling up our stores again at our farm over there. We are going to need to upgrade this milk, aren't we? We've got to supply the East Coast as well. And uh, probably Syracuse soon. So how much is that going to cost us? Hopefully not too much. 360000 No refunds on this. We're just going to have to straight up pay for it. But it has pushed production up to 3.2 per week now. And uh, a bit more storage as well. So you should fill a little faster. Perfect. Let's check on our warehouse here. Do we have anything on the way? We now have six of those uh, wagons of vegetables are heading down to Boston, which is understandable. Uh, some of them are already going. Oh, I don't know whether those six are. Yeah, that was the, the two that was already there. Three milk on the way. We have some meat for Buffalo and Syracuse. Makes sense. That's why we set it up. Grain, we're struggling with a little bit. And uh, we may have just taken it as well. And then we've got some corn on the way to be distributed along the east coast. So what's going on with our grain? Are we just not uh, supplying enough? We're probably waiting, aren't we? Uh, by the looks of this, we've just sent a train into Albany. Let's see. Let's click on you. Yeah, you're just dropping it off there. Beautiful. We have a lot of breweries, don't we, with these three cities. We do have two grain farms, though. But it is going to push this demand quite high as we're supplying grain from this station not only to Albany but uh, Syracuse as well and their breweries are eating it for breakfast. How much to upgrade this again? It's going to be pricey. It's a level 3. 440,000. Not too bad. We're almost there, aren't we? And that will get more and more of this grain shifted. It would be nice to start filling up that warehouse and supplying it onto the coast, wouldn't it? Yeah, 444,000. We're almost there. I love that we can just watch this and it goes up that fast as it stops completely. Typical. What we got down here? Yeah, those are the random breakdowns. Can't be helped. Uh, we can do what we can with our staff and with our research. Right, now we can upgrade this industry. Let's get you pushed. We're now uh, producing 11.2 per week. We also have 72 storage. Right, you there we go. You filled up pretty rapidly. This guy is, I don't believe, waiting for this grain. No. We have a few trains running this line, don't we? <laughs> Just a little bit. Some of it is freight. Most of it is freight. We do have uh, the odd express line here and there and same down that way and then we just have a couple of couple of trains running all the way continuing to buffalo there we go we're still maxed out on our corn that's great though because we're making money on that uh we've made back a hundred thousand did we pay that much i mean i guess we did yeah i guess we did that's fine it's continuing to pay us how are we doing with our cattle? This is one of our early acquisitions, wasn't it? 384,000. This is almost paid for itself. That's pretty amazing. Well, at profit per week, you probably work it out. 6.4k per week. It'll be paid for soon. Uh, next week, it's going to be at 390,000. Are we running out of cows? Sort of. We probably can't afford to upgrade it. No, 520k, not yet. With Bangor getting close to growing, very close, it's 40,000. There's only 2,500 to go. We're at 61.8% demand, though. What are we missing down there? Milk. Yeah, milk's going to It's gonna be tough to get down to, uh, well, up to. Yes, we're up north, aren't we? It's going to be a 
tricky to get that all the way up north. The canal itself was first proposed in 1699. Nowadays, there is so much less time between idea and realization. This is absolutely extraordinary. It works! Fewer and fewer travelers are using the Erie Canal because our train connections are simply better. Our company enjoys great popularity in Albany and soon a new mayor will be elected. If I could win the election, I could use that to our advantage. Why don't you take a few measures to present me in a favorable light to the undecided voters? I have zero cares about your political career, but I do wish to expand our empire and also make as much money as possible. Connect three rural businesses producing grain to your rail network, which I believe will mean we have to we have to buy one of the regions because that's where the rest of the grain is. We'll double check that. Transport 960 passengers from Syracuse. So as long as people are leaving Syracuse, we'll just get that one done passively. And construct a university in Albany. A university. What does the hint say? Yes, it can only have one city building at a time now. Which has always been the case. Yeah, Railway Empire 1, you could only have one city a building as well a university isn't what it used to be in railway empire one though it does not give you any more innovation points not in this chapter of the campaign anyhow what it actually does is uh or oh, can we get the building list no do they have the building list here city buildings there we go we can access it here so this can only be constructed in cities with over 90,000 population and is required to go beyond 100,000 population. And uh, it actually costs you to not only construct it, but uh, then you have to pay for scholarships as well. So it's a, a necessary evil <laughs> to get your... Uh, to get your cities growing beyond 100,000, they will cap out at 100,000. So that task is uh, not the immediate one. We've got to get that done by December 1835. This would be the immediate one, wouldn't it? 1834, then uh, the, the other two in a year later. Syracuse should be quite quick. We're about halfway through the uh, first chapter of the campaign, guys. If you haven't noticed, I have a kind of relaxed play style to say the very least we can't get this area until we buy out uh, probably our competitor down here interestingly we can connect a station into new york city now that wasn't a thing was it at the beginning i don't think it would allow us to connect in there do i want to do that not really i would rather not help him grow he may he may expand out to us, though. I don't know whether he will. This uh, this train is just waiting to be loaded to uh, head to Syracuse. Not really an issue. Uh, as Syracuse grows, uh, that, that will vanish. We need 200 points to unlock mineral oil, which, uh, again, another maintenance one. That's good for our network. And then uh, we can finally unlock the Dunham. Guys, that was a good one. I think when we come back, uh, we, we go Southern Ontario, don't we? Yeah, we go Southern Ontario. It's going to cost us 713000 at the moment. Should we buy that? And then we're ready to go, aren't we? Let's purchase it. There we go. We've got an achievement. Access granted. Perfect. That means we can set up a, a new, a new um, trio of cities although ottawa is a little far away we're not going to be able to afford that we just spent a fortune we could obviously take out this bond and get involved just to push it up but i don't think it has the most amount of effect on the ai's bank balance so yeah come back we've got london toronto a connection from buffalo and syracuse to make they're uh, bringing ottawa as well why not? We've got a connection bonus there for Ottawa. 261,000 bonus for connecting that up. 
What's the lay of the land like out here? Is it going to be a tricky one to set up? No, he's kind of flat. It's kind of flat. Not too much of an issue. I'd like to avoid the Indian village there. Uh, both of the Indian villages. We can slide through them, can't we? Don't need to relocate you. All right, guys. We are on our vegetable train. <laughs> That's the one we're on. That was a busy one, wasn't it? We got our final task done in that group of tasks. And uh, we've just bought us a, a new area on the map that we can uh, now build our or expand our empire into. Uh, we're on the main line at the moment, heading the one heading between Albany and Syracuse. We'll drift off after the bridge and uh, head to our farm. Well, I thought we could see what it's like down here. I don't think we have. A bit bumpy in places, possibly a bit loud on our train as well. Is that because we're sitting down here? Well, there we go. That's a little quieter, but I can't see anything. That's fine. We'll go down here. Are we going to fill up? Possibly. No, we're going straight through. I don't know what that was all about. We had a red signal, perhaps. Uh, but we've got a tremendous amount to do. Our money shouldn't uh, take too long to go up, so we'll be able to build uh, to our heart's content. And we've still got that bond to grab. And until next time. Take care.